I mean, I I am do- diagnosed uh, autistic, and so and I know um, from a lot of research that um, there are things that you tend to do um, which are just sort of like comfort things. It's it's like a whistle. It's a, almost. Vo- it's a vocalized mm-hmm. lip oscillation. Um, like that. Like mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Um, you're. Yeah. I mean, just just pause it when he has his lips pursed for the. That, that's sick. This is one of the things that, like, to me, is super impressive. Yeah. Is like you're basically like, I don't, like this is one of the things that's really cool about like Gene Gene Shinozaki's uh, uh, home on that recording of that. The it's yeah. just super cool. Like same uh, same thing, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, that just what a weird um, what a weird thing to think about doing. <laughs> like, I want to know who who is the guy who like just like sat down, screwed around enough, and was like, "Oh, that sounds cool." Like, I'm, you know. I mean, all, all all sound is is vibrations. So yeah. why not utilize any anything that can make vibrations? Not your vocal cords aren't the only things that can make vibrations. Um, yeah, you but have your like vocals, you have your lips, you have your tongue. Like, we have the beatbox community now to kind of push that, but like, it's bizarre. To, it, it's just like, I don't know. Like, it clearly, I think there are just some people who really like making sounds. You know what I mean? They just like making noises with their with their face hole, um, and I think that that just like that joy, I think, has has contributed to a lot of development of different vocal techniques that yeah, I don't I, think would have been introduced otherwise. I'm I'm interested in doing some sort of like a uh, survey or something of like how many uh, uh, beatboxers have either ADHD or aut- autistic um, or, or autism diagnoses or tendencies um, because I feel like both of those um, seem to mm. um, little different sort of like ticks um and beatboxing was sort of that for me just being able to vocalize things and um that really what is what led me into beatboxing just making noises all the time as sort of like comfort that's amazing um, I, I love hearing that because like that that to me is like when art for art's sake i'm not a big fan of um I used to be, but then I realized I think it's super pretentious. But art that helps people, that's that's the real stuff right there. So it's I'm I'm happy for you and that's really that's awesome. To, to you're, hear you're, that. you're, he he says uh beatboxing helps me with my ADHD. Yeah. Yeah. Um especially with like I mean, both uh, autism and ADHD, there are those things that um you can do I mean, ADHD is seen as like a lack of focus, but I mean, it's lack of control of focus, really, Mm -hmm. because you can really focus on some things, but other things, not so much. It's like why people don't get diagnoses for uh, like ADHD because their parents are like, well, he can focus so well when he's playing with Legos, but he just can't (laughs) like so he can't have ADHD because he can focus while doing this certain thing. But yeah, Yeah. there are certain things that. Can I had, hyper-focus on it. And- yeah, and I, I had to learn to focus because, um, like, that that also just takes practice, and so you wonder how much, like, the diagnosis is, like... That's, that's what, I mean, when I was growing up, that was, like, the ADHD as a diagnosis was, like, really controversial. I'm not sure if it is now. They might have a better metric uh, to, to analyze that. Um, I mean, but- in, in, in a way, ADHD is in the sa- at the same time underdiagnosed and overdiagnosed. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. it's sort of complicated because I don't know if you know, but like there's a study done where more people are diagnosed with ADHD in a classroom that has more students, um, uh, mm. just because the the teacher can't attend to everyone's needs, yeah. and so um, it's just more people are going to be diagnosed with ADHD, even if they don't have it in a classroom that's bigger, rather than if it's a small like private classroom yeah that's that's uh an unfortunate statistic especially in the united states uh 
School funding is based entirely off of property taxes per zip code. Uh, so you can imagine how that 